Hey guys, so yeah, I did the scene with the little woman when sorry, once again, daily vlogger giving the cats the my cats and I just did this small funeral thing with um lighting the candles and the incense and the scene is only the part when I'm doing the flowers. That's from Little Women when Beth dies. Um, she puts the flowers around everything, so I thought it'd be nice to do that, and it was. And actually, watching it back made me cry. <laughs> Truth be told, so I hope um, it's not too sad for you guys. But um, this won't be a long vlog because I'm cold and sad <laughs> um, um it's kind of hard to talk because of that but it did really help um i got my jacket on because it's so cold but i still got my dress on so uh that's why i was dressed up but like i said seven cats in total including the stillborn so again they were a cat family <laughs> Uh, my first cat, Nina, was 17 years old when he passed away, and he fell in love with a stray cat named Phantom, who was pregnant, and not by Nino. And then I had the kittens, which was Hope, Josephine, and Junior, and this doll represents Hope. I'm trying to find a one that looks like Speckles, and... Josephine and Phantom and Nino, so eventually I'll get them. Um, but I hope I had for 14 years, and she was recently put down in the summer last year, and then right after Hope was Speckles, who came from my ex, uh, and he was 16, and he had cancer in his stomach, and kidney disease, Hope had kidney disease, and then Josephina was February 22nd, she was 15, and she had kidney disease, Nino and Phantom, Nino was 17 years, and Phantom, we're not sure how old she was, um, but they both died from cancer, um, and like I said, we put Phantom through treatment and the cancer spread so we knew that was going to happen to Speckles most likely especially at his age And Speckles wasn't part of the litter or that family But he's part of my cat family and him and Hope were like boyfriend and girlfriend They'd always kiss each other and be by each other and it was so cute <laughs> So in a way it's kind of I kind of know that Speckles passed away because he wanted to be with Hope. And same with Nino, wanted to be with Phantom. So now they're all together. And then Junior was under five, but he died from poison in my arms. So that's why I go on since Hope and Josephine were from the same litter, all the memories of all my cats are coming back together. And that's why I wanted to do a funeral, not just for Hope and Josephine and Speckles, but all my cats. And again, I repeat myself because some people are new to my YouTube channel. They don't know the whole story. Everything's documented. If you guys want to see it, um, I, I'm a daily vlogger, so my cats are always in my videos. And people felt like my cats were their cats. <laughs> and we will be getting a new cat uh, by my birthday time, uh, hopefully. And it'll be like a YouTube cat <laughs> kind of thing. But it's still very hard without them. And seeing cats or being around cats is very hard for me. So taking my time to be better, even though it's hard to sleep without them. But this kind of really helped heal my heart. And I hope it. Give you guys some kind of closure or comfort as well 
Because like I said, a lot of you guys feel like my cats are your cats. <laughs> and yeah, it's just sadly Nino I had for 17 years and he was uh, a cuddly cat. He was an amazing boy, best best cat I could have asked for. And then because of him, I got Phantom, and then Phantom, I needed her. All my cats came when I needed them, so. Actually, Nino came up to me when my best friend's brother passed away, and came up and into my lap, and then I took him in. <laughs> but uh, that's why I called him Nino, and I needed him because I was sad. <laughs> And then when I had Phantom, uh, I recently broke up with one of my exes, and so she came at a time when I needed it. And then, like I said, with Speckles, my ex kind of ditched us, so I needed him so it didn't feel like everything I gave up for my ex was for my ex, it was actually for Speckles. <laughs> And then Hope and Josephine and Junior, I needed them because Phantom and Nino were no longer with us. And then I had them for 14 and 15 years. So it's really uh, hard to let go of that 14, 15 years. Imagine being with something for that long. And then it's pretty much one after the other that kind of went, went. So. And then I'm on my own with conditions on top of it. But I gave up guys for my cats. I gave up <laughs> literally one guy said it's either me or the cats. So I said, of course, bye. <laughs> and I have allergies to cats, but I still kept them. I had conditions. I still kept them. Speckles was very abusive. I still kept him. So... Hope was a very demanding cat. <laughs> she was kind of like the boss of everyone. Always meowing her head off and saying meow, 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 meow. <laughs> She'd literally uh, wipe her, like, crawl on the carpet and use her butt like toilet paper. <laughs> so it still cracks me up. <laughs> Because I actually never got on camera, but it was pretty funny. And then Nino had a bear, like I keep talking about, and he'd pretty much used it like a sex toy. <laughs> he'd always be at the vet and then humping the bear, and then people would be, they'd be like, there's something wrong with your cat. <laughs> I'm like, no, there isn't. Humans have sex toys, why can't cats? <laughs> so... That's what made him special, and then Hope was, like I said, she'd rub her butt on the carpet like toilet paper. She'd always jump up on the sink to get the water, and always meow and speckles. He was very cuddly, but he was also abusive, and he had fleas, so that also cost money. And, but speckles would always come up on me when I'm sleeping, and he put his butt right in front of my face to wake him up, <laughs> to wake me up, to feed him. Whenever I tried to eat bread or food by the TV, he'd always come to get the food, to try to get the food anyways. <clears throat> Which was weird, because none of my cats did that, but he loved bread for some reason. And then Josephine, she was the easiest out of all of them. She never complained. She pretty much was on her own in the, in the scratching post, which is why I moved to the couch. But she she was funny. She'd always <laughs> she'd always try to drink my pop <laughs> out of the cup, but I caught her on camera a couple of times. So it's pretty pretty funny and unique for that way and she'd always hide and they'd be like where is she and try to find her I can't find her anywhere 
So yeah, try not to cry, but <sighs> it's uh it's really hard to uh, be without them. Fourteen, fifteen years. Um, like I said, if I could just give them a magic pill and somehow <clears throat> make them live forever, that I would, but it's just too much. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to do what's best for the cat and not for yourself. Like I said, now I know with Josephine and Speckles, I had to watch them suffer. And it's almost as hard as watching them die in my arms. So I don't know if you guys heard that story, but the story about Junior, he was not, I forgot to mention that he was not um, given anything. So it took two hours before he passed away in my arms and watching that oof, words cannot describe <clears throat> so that's why I had to take them to uh, so they don't have to go through that I can't even say the words anymore <laughs> You guys should know by now what I mean. So, yeah. But life goes on, and like I said, I'm still going to be doing a Loving Memory project. Um, I still got a lot to do because I want to get a new cat. Eventually, <laughs> like I said, it's not fair to get a cat just to make you feel better. It's better to get the cat when you're ready because a lot of times most people aren't ready right away even though it's been almost a year since Hope passed away Josephine was just recently just in February so it's, it's still too soon for me but I've been through a lot and I gave them an amazing life and now I know they're all together with my brothers because I'm a surviving triplet and that gives me comfort and talking about it helps and doing the funeral helps so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching it and please don't leave any hate comments or any bad comments I've been through enough with people about that <laughs> And right now it's just about honoring them. And like I said, I wanted to do a funeral for them for the same reason people do funerals for the family members. You want to say goodbye, you want to honor them. And for me, it helps having photos close by and like the necklace that I have on, not beside me, but forever in my heart. That helps when tomorrow starts without me. That's another thing. So that's why I had that playing in the background because I say that every day when tomorrow starts without me. Yeah, trying trying hard not to cry. <laughs> I know it's I know it's normal to cry, but <clears throat> Like I said, I'm just trying to uh, think about what we've been through, and it's not easy, but like I keep saying, it's part of life. Everything comes to an end and continues on in heaven, so... For me, I truly, truly believe that they're all going to be reunited. They're all up there with their brothers and keeping them happy and running free. <laughs> no more suffering, no more pain. Rather than 
bringing them to vets for treatment constantly, they, they would have been suffering. They would have been in pain. So this way they're not in pain. And that's the way that you got to look at it. Sometimes uh, the best thing that you could do is say goodbye, as hard as it is. But I go on for them, and I go on for my brothers, and I go on for God. And I go on for you guys. <laughs> so I do appreciate you guys uh, standing by my side and especially since I'm on my own, it's, uh, it's a lot more tough, which is why I do daily vlogging now. <laughs> and now the place is a huge mess because there's petals everywhere. <laughs> but I think I'm going to leave it like this for a few days at least because it looks really pretty. I think I actually like it on the ground. And I have some petals here. <laughs> Roses. That's the other thing too about seasons and like spring and winter. Nothing ever stays the same. It always changes. And that's what I like about winter. <laughs> it doesn't happen so like when snow comes, it doesn't happen all the time. So when it comes, for me it's magical and it's amazing. But now we're stuck in spring. <laughs> Spring and summer, it's not, not really good for my body, but it will pass, just like everything else. And like I keep saying, no matter how much you're hurting or in pain, it goes, but then something else happens, and then it goes, and then something else happens. But if we don't feel the way that we're feeling, we're never going to get past it. And if we just take medication for depression, we're not going to get past it. So, like I said, I'm already on medication, so I don't want to be on more medication. And, like I said, I'd rather feel the way that I'm feeling. So I can grieve and move on. I hate that term. Start over. <laughs> We're starting over. But, each cat was different, and... I'm just so thankful for every moment that I had with him. And sadly, uh, I still have to go through files and do more projects. And so that's what helps me the most out of anything. And now, since I've done this funeral thing, I've been putting it off because I've been so depressed and so sad. But since I've done it, I do feel a lot better, especially with doing the little woman scene. Like I said, that helped the most. Because it's like, uh, you're saying goodbye. And even though you're saying goodbye, they're not. They're never gone. They're, they're still always with you. And like I said, they're not suffering anymore. They're not in pain anymore. I don't have to watch that anymore. Because as hard as it is saying goodbye, watching them suffer, not eat, not do anything, just lay there, that's the hardest part. And nobody should have to go through that. So... Now we could just remember them and keep them in our hearts, but time just goes by so quickly. And like I said, you never really ever get over it. Like I guess it's been probably 20 years since Nino passed away, 20, 25 years, and I still miss him. But now I know how to, now I know how to deal with it and now I know I'm living for him just like Hope and Josephine and Mark and Phantom Jr. and Phantom and 
my brothers, Joseph and Mark, and everybody else that I've lost, because I've lost quite a lot, but I'm still here, and like I said, if we're here, we're here for a reason. Whatever it may be, even if it's just getting through one day at a time, that's all you can do. But just know you're not alone. If you're grieving, if you're depressed, the world does not stop for you. You still gotta go on, you still gotta eat, you still gotta cook, you still gotta clean. And that's why I try to do it. <laughs> But I haven't been the past few days, so I've been just working on the memorial stuff. But now that it's done, I can finally get back into cooking and cleaning and baking and looking after myself because I'm all on my own. <laughs> but. Whenever I have somebody help me out, they do a crappy job anyways, so I'd rather be on my own. Like I keep saying, as long as I'm not in the hospital, I'm not so depressed to the point where I'm in the hospital, I'm okay. And I know I'll be okay. Because I've been. I've had an amazing life with my cats and like I, like I keep saying as much as as hard as it is saying goodbye it's harder watching them suffer and that's what I say to myself every single day and whenever I wake up or whenever I miss them that's what I say the most that's what helps me the most saying at least they're not suffering and it helps me to go on. So I'll probably do another short because like I said, I like to do a long video, short video. A little bit of for everyone and I hope some way this gives you some closure or some something anyways. <laughs> I don't know, you guys could tell me in the comments just once again Try not to leave any hate comments. Like I said, it's, it was harder to watch them suffer than saying goodbye. I know we said goodbye, but I'm going to keep honoring them every single day. They're on Phantom Stories. Thank you guys for listening and watching. And like I said, I'll do another short and then get ready for bed. You're on Phantom Stories. Welcome to my haunted world. XOXO OG Apodos.